to write the formula for copper to bromide. We look up copper and that has an element symbol of Cu. Bromide, we're looking for bromine, that's Br. So copper is a metal, it's a transition metal because we can tell there's Roman numerals here. And bromine, that's a nonmetal. So we have a metal and a nonmetal. This is an ionic compound. And we need to think about the charges when we write the formula. Copper tells us right here, this Roman numeral two, its ionic charge is two plus. Bromine, we look up on the periodic table, that's one minus. So these should add up to zero since it's an ionic compound and they don't. We can change these subscripts here though to make that happen. And we'll use the crisscross method. We move the one over here and the two over here. The one we don't write by convention. Let's get rid of this. And that's the formula for copper to bromide. Let's check our work, make sure we got that right. We said copper because it's a transition metal and we have this Roman numeral two. Ionic charge is two plus. Bromine we look up, that's a one minus. So I have two bromines, two times one minus, that's two minus. One copper, one times two plus, that's two plus. So a two plus and a two minus, that adds up to zero. The net charge is zero. This is the correct formula for copper two bromide. Let's clean it up. And that's it, copper two bromide, CuBr2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.